is there still no place like home? Definitely. It's never a place like home, man. And uh, it's been that way, you know, when I was home, since I've been back home, you know, it's been nothing but love. And uh, it's continue to be that way. Are you all prepping as if Rondell Moore will play or? Yes. Okay. And have you seen Purdue's jerseys? Uh, no, I haven't. I heard it's their homecoming. Mm -hmm. We got to wear our dark jerseys because they're wearing something. <laughs> you know, it's, it's, it's football, man, at the end of the day. You know, we go out there and play ball. What do you think of the Maryland specials this year, though? Oh, no, they they dope. They dope. They're definitely nice. Uh, you know, they, they look nice, and they look a lot better if we can win it. So, you know, that's the goal. What's it like lining up against the, uh, I imagine, the left tackle most of the time in your um, position? It's you know it's it's new for me, but um, you know it's, it's it's nothing that I wouldn't say I'm used to dating back to my early years in high school. Um, I was definitely you know doing a lot of rushing and passing and things like that. So it's uh, it's new at this level, but um, it's not new to me. And, you know, in the total grand scheme of things, so um, you know, I'm just I'm adjusting well to. Is your speed helping to keep their hands off of you? Oh, definitely, definitely. That's uh, one of the reasons why they, they put me there, um, just to you know be able to utilize you know my natural assets that I have and be able to help me. When the game was on the line, uh, Rutgers goes for it on fourth and one twice. You guys absolutely stuffed them to get part of one of those stops. What's that feeling like to, to throttle them like that? And uh, were you looking for a run on both of those? Uh, I mean, yeah, fourth and one, that's a that's a that's a heavy run, uh, run Tennessee for you know almost every team in the country. Um, so uh, our coach put us in the, you know the, the best position to, to be able to make a play in that um, in that call, and you know when it came, uh, you know, I aligned myself for success, man, and just you know put basically put my life on the line for my teammates there, and was able to come up with the stop. Turp Talk is brought to you by Viner Four Gates Consulting. Call Viner Four Gates for all of your IT needs. In the D.C. Baltimore area, you could reach us at 301-251-2900 or on the web at www.vinerforgates.com. The Jacklers Law Group's successes have resulted in many distinguished awards, including Best Personal Injury Trial Law Firm USA, Maryland's Personal Injury Attorney of the Year twice, and Super Lawyers designation every single year. We succeed because we're willing to try cases, and insurance companies know it. That's why their claim reps often grumble they pay us more in settlements than any other lawyers. You deserve a great lawyer. If you've been hurt in a car, truck, or train crash, call 855-BIG-DOG-1. Are there guys in the league that you, you know, model your game after or really, you know, like to watch on Sunday? Oh man, I watch Khalil Mack uh, all the time. Um, I watch Chubb all the time, Von Miller, um, Zadarius Smith. Um, just, you know, a lot of the guys who are very successful at the outside linebacker position in the NFL. Um, even in our position room, you know, we're watching those guys day in and day out. So, um, it's a lot of those guys. What do you look at when you look at those guys in practice? Like, what specific aspects of their game do you try to emulate? Um, mainly get off, because um, get off is everything. Uh, if you can get off the ball, that's you know 90% of the battle. Uh, beating the tackle off the off the line of scrimmage. And if I can get two feet in the ground before he gets one foot in the ground, you know that's 90% of the battle right there. So um, most of the time I watch, you know, that get off, and then of course at the end, you know how they work their moves, and you know when one move doesn't work and they transition to another move, you know. Um, so a lot of those things. Can you talk about the Purdue game and what you're expecting out of their offense? Um, we're, we're preparing as, as if, you know, uh, arguably their best player number four will, will play. And, uh, you know, we know they like to get him the ball a lot. Um, they do a lot of, have a lot of different personnel groupings. Um, they like to throw the ball a lot. Uh, so we're definitely um, getting prepared, you know, as if he will play and, you know, as if they'll spread the ball around the field a lot. What's it like playing on the road in the Big Ten and what's it like to get a win on the road in the Big Ten? Um, it's, it's big. Uh, being able to, to go on the road and, you know, uh, beat somebody gives your, you know, your team a lot of momentum, um, gives you a lot of confidence. Um, so we're definitely hoping to be able to go out and win on the road. If we can win on the road, you know, we feel like that gives us, you know, a huge advantage and it can be very helpful for us. Defensively, um, you know, the linebackers, it seems like someone new is kind of stepping up each week. You know, Chance had a great game last week. You know, Keandre was top 20 in sacks in the country. Uh, you obviously been playing very well. Yende yeah. had a great game on Saturday. How have the linebackers kind of instilled themselves as like the heart and soul of defense? Uh, just, you know, 
as a linebacker, man, you have to you have to be like we're, we're kind of seen as the glue to the defense, man. And um, you know, so being able to take on that role and you know understanding what that role means is uh, big for us. We embrace it every single day in practice um, in the locker room because um, of the linebacker position. You, know, you got to be a leader. And, um, you know, we exemplify that, you know, and that's what we live by. And um, I think that's that's what's helped us, you know, on the field, is how we live off the field and the things.